Hello everybody. So I just filmed a haul video which will be linked down below or you can just check my channel. Probably just check the channel. I might not link it. Um, <clears throat> this is my update video that I had mentioned. A massive update. Oh, there goes my laptop turning on. Um, and this is just to update you guys on everything because there's a huge update. Um, our animal count has gone down. One from uh, an unexpected death and the other because after one of them had died it turned into a very big battle between the other two so that would be the two newest guinea pigs that you had noticed but now it's just twitchy so and he does better on his own simply because he is handicapped really quite a bit and he bumps into the other ones and they would get a little bit angry so and uh, just a quick little look over his cage sorry I just had to move my light because I have to keep moving my light fixture depending on where I go for what I want to film. So, oh, Also, you can see as an update, I've got working on a new organization system, which hasn't gotten there just yet. <laughs> so, this is my stash of bedding, which I've got two large 60s, or I believe, bags of care fresh that are almost, this one's they're pretty full. Then I've got some KT Clean and Cozies, the big bag, and two little bags. I've got their chew toys, food, medical kit, and treats. Um, but I've still I've got I've got a lot of organization to work on because as you can see, my room is a mess, big mess. So, hi Jack, hi Jackasaur. Oh, this is Jack's new cage that it's not even nearly close to done. I still got to snip off the rest of those zip ties, but this is going to be a cage for two bunnies pretty soon. Because what I'm going to do after Jack gets fixed in a couple weeks, um, if this is 2x3, it was going to be 2x4, but it wouldn't have fit at the end of my bed if it was a 2x4 because I have a queen size bed. And I mean, it would have fit, but it wouldn't fit right. So it's a 2x3, and it's reinforced with a couple extra grids to keep it from anything. Um, and I did all this myself with my friend, and it's Obviously, it's not high quality, but it, it does what it needs to do amazingly. So the first three grids lift up, and they can just go over. This door opens up, this one, but I have it uh, shut for him because he's very sneaky and can open it. So then what's going to happen is I'm going to have a 2x2 two two little, either a 2x2 two two ramp area there, like a loft space, or a 1x2 for him to, for them to be able to climb up and just have some fun. This is going to be going on to a piece of uh, plywood that will be untreated but sanded down so it's safe and it will be put on casters so that it can be rolled around. So that's exciting. Hi Jack. Jackawoo! Jackawoo! He's so good to me. He's so good to me. Anyway, sorry I got distracted. Back to Twitch. His cage is a big mess. Um, I just shook this fleece out the other day because I thought it was filthy. And I looked underneath and there had been no pee on the fleece and then I emptied the litter box. And he, in the last week that he's been on this fleece, or two weeks, no, I washed it. I washed it, um, three days ago. And I haven't done any spot cleaning, which is why it's such a mess right now. Um, I'm going in my tunnel. Um, which is why it's such a mess now. I, this is my favorite fleece, so I've just been washing it and reusing it every time. Because it's, I don't know, it's bigger than all the other ones, but it's still the same blanket. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. So, yeah. So, I emptied the litter tray, and I realized he'd peed so much in the litter tray, and he hadn't peed any in the fleece, so I think he's almost completely litter trained, but he's been pooping in the fleece. So, cleaned it, shook it out, washed it put new mattress pads underneath, then all set and good. So then I just put everything back the way it was. Because it only takes me about an hour at the most to wash and dry this because, it, I don't know, it's always been just a really quick process, which is good. So, Itsy Bitsy's still in her 10-gallon tank. She's got a lot of her stuff up in this um, little bin here. And this is a stackable bin, but I just have another bin inside of it to keep some of her other stuff safe. Will you come out and say hello? 
Kitty Bitsy, where are you? Oh, she's probably sleeping then. This is generally the time she'll be asleep. And then over here, since the guinea pig's passing, there has been a new addition to our family, our furry family. And this is Effie. Effie Buns! Hi, honey, come here. Hi, baby. This is Effie Buns. She's my 10 week old lion head little girl. She's such a good girl, huh? Huh? Come here. Let's pick you up. She's very friendly. She's so cute. You're so cute. Oh, you're so good. I'm going to put you down, though. You can finish your salad. So she's working on getting litter trained, um, which has been kind of tough with her. Um, but that's because she's a bunny, but that's okay. Because it doesn't bother me too much at all. Because she is on the mat instead of my rug. So I just vacuum it and then wash it down with a vinegar water solution and clean it up. So, yep, Effie was adopted last week, so my friends got the brother, so her and Jack. Are you trying to get in your snuggles? That's her snuggle case. It's just a pillowcase that has not been, like, washed with any detergent or anything. And I picked it up because she peed on it, but she snuggles inside of it. So, Jack is going to get fixed because it's safer for a male to get fixed than a female. It's got a higher survival rate and success rate, so... Hi, oh, honey bunny. You're so good to me, too, huh? Can I get chin rubs? Yeah. So, Jack is going in a couple weeks, hopefully, to get fixed. And then they can be in the same cage together. Effie! He's so cute. At night, though, even though that's, um... This is... Two and a half by two and a half. Or no, actually, this is a three by two. Two by three, that's what this is. I remembered it. Um, even though <clears throat> this is small, she gets put in there at night because she can hop right out of here, and I don't have anything to put on top. And it's just because it's dangerous for that to happen. And so I don't have the time right now to build her cage. So she goes in this medium-sized crate with her litter pan, water, and veggies at night. Oops, I'm dropping stuff already. And, um, just at night time, but then she comes right back out in the morning and goes in here. Happy! He's so cute. Jack is such, such a camera hog. Jack! Hello, you. Hey, hello. Hi, Jack. He's so cute. So, that's my update. Oh, you know, I've been so mean about this. I haven't shown the boys all too often lately, and one of them is really sick, um, and I haven't been able to get him into the vet, but, um, they're sleeping right now. They were out running around for most of the day, but this is their bin cage, as you can see. So, um, this is their bin cage, and, uh, yeah, one of them is sick. I think he, I don't know what he is. I think he's got a cold, and I think the other one's getting it, too. Um, I did call the vet, and they both actually have an appointment, I believe, next week. Because my normal vet doesn't see gerbils, even though he is an exotics specialist. But I was told by the manager there that they don't usually see gerbils. So I thought I'd go to a specific one who has a lot of experience with gerbils. So overall, it's been a very big update and all that stuff with stuff all over my room and just trying to figure out a few things, you know, here and there, which has been relatively difficult to do, but we're getting there. So um, if you like this video, please comment down below, uh, give it a thumbs up, just tell me a little bit about you and your animals, anything you really want to comment or you know, just let me know because I like to get a lot of feedback um, on things that I can do better to do for you. Um, but I'm hoping tomorrow or the next day, since I've got a few days off from school, from college, that I can show you a couple tutorial videos on how to make a few different uh, bobs and bits types of things and whatnot. So 
Yep, hope everyone's doing okay. And yeah, see you later, everybody. Thanks for watching.